All right, everybody, welcome back. It is your pal Al, and we're picking up today where we left off playing some Alone in the Dark. We are currently still on chapter two, and we just finished up the boiler room puzzle in the last video, and we are now in another one of Jeremy's dreams, and we are at the Lafayette Cemetery. Um, we are playing through as Emily Hartwood, and uh, we'll have to take a look at our objectives, but we just got to this cemetery, so... Thanks for being here and let's rock and roll. Of course, there's no map. Emily stepped out into the humid night and found herself recognizing the Lafayette Cemetery. She hadn't been here for years, she thought, and in a way, she still hadn't returned. This was something not quite the same. Hoping she would soon get to see her uncle, she set off to find the chapel mentioned in his book. All right. We're supposed to look for Jeremy inside the chapel. Um, we only have about five items left to find to complete all these. Um, and we have a memory and two secret objectives so we got to keep our eyes open for those as well let's see let's look around to see if there's anything here now the first time we played through this ooh, pistol ammo is full thank gosh let's see i just said thank gosh you know you're trying hard not to curse when you say things like thank gosh <laughs> All right, we do have a nice shotgun with some ammo, pistol, and a shovel. We are playing on a harder difficulty than what we played through originally, so this is going to be interesting because the cemetery... Re ah, damn crows. The cemetery really kicks up the difficulty a notch, especially from... It, well, it did in the last one, for sure. Now, I don't want there to be any issues, any clipping issues, but I want to make sure we don't miss out on any little secret, little hidey holes or anything here. I just feel like this would be such an easy place to hide stuff. Nothing? Nothing? Okay. I like want to go back there and like look. Uh, nothing in there. Did I go in the wrong spot? What's this? It's been a while since I visited the family tomb. I hope it's in a better state than the real world. Oh gosh. Yeah, so this is just like a, a dream of his. So apparently it's kind of accurate, but... Still a dream. Hmm. Interesting. Family tombs. I I mean, you guys will have to let me know if anybody who's watching this actually has a family tomb. We're kind of like spread out. Our family is. All right. I looked all over. I don't see anything. Hmm. Here we go. This is going to get wild. The blessing. What's this? I think this will open this door. What's that for? What's that for? There we go. <laughs> I just love the narration. Oh, it's a sledgehammer, but I'm going to use what I've got first. I'm going to go back here real quick, make sure there's nothing around the corner. Yeah, like right here. There's totally something back here. I 
I don't remember if there's any bad guys back here, though. I feel like there's going to be. Oh my god, I just got four shotgun shells. Four. That's, that is a lot. Which means they're... Yeah. Break yourself, fool. Popping out on me like that. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run back to the beginning area because there was some uh, pistol ammo back here. Now, I feel like if you were gonna hide something, a cemetery would be a hell of a good place. One bullet. Oh, well, whatever. It would be a hell of a good place to hide some of this stuff, you know? Um, I mean, this, doesn't this look like a good spot to put, like, things? Apparently. Well, either way, we got a few shotgun shells. What's that? It's just a sledgehammer. Well, my shovel is not yet... Um, to the point where it's going to break. So as long as I can come back and pick up that sledgehammer, I'm going to... Oh my god. Dude. I just pieced that fool up. All right, I'm still going to have to come back for that sledge, but I just went through eight rounds like it was nothing, and it still didn't put him down. Yeah, I got to be careful where I'm walking because it's so easy to get hung up on stuff. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if I can just run by a bunch of these fools. That guy, though, was waiting for me, so there's no running by him. This is the chapel in Jeremy's book. It looks like I need more medallions to open it. I'll bet I need two more. I'm not sure I have everything I need. I'm not sure you do either. I mean, I do appreciate it when video games, like, do that, you know, when they, like, you know, make it very obvious that, like, to help you out, but... You know, at the same time, it's kind of funny. I, I can't... It, it, like, makes me laugh. I shouldn't, like, give them too much crap, though, because, you know, one minute you're sitting there teasing, and then the next minute you're the one who's just, like, completely lost. Yeah. Next time uh, you see me coming down this, this walkway, I'll probably be screaming, covered in blood. All right, here we go. Oh, it's a flower garden. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if... Is there a map, real quick, of this area? Alright. Well, yeah, obviously, no map here. So, let's go find the other two medallions so we can get in there and hopefully meet Jeremy. So, I remember this from the Carnby playthrough. Oh, what's this? Nice. Some pistol ammo. And at the moment, health is full, so that's good. Um, I don't know if I... Let's see if we can sneak by some of these. The first time we did... But I've turned the difficulty up since then, so... God, there's one sleeping right there. I'm gonna... This is a good spot. This is a good spot to hide. What I need to do... 
just get by him and find like a brick or something and throw it back here to uh, keep him interested. Oh, here's one right here. There we go. Okay, he's going after it. And we can escape. Um, now let's just go nice and quiet. Oh, shit. we go. Sneak on in. Go, go. Yeah. It's oh, jeez. Oh, there he, he's looking. He's like, what, what did that? Oh my god, they're both out there. Yeah, nice. Alright, well we just made it through that area without firing a shot, which is good. Ooh, five pistol ammo. Nice. Um, all right, I can hear somebody walking, but I'm not quite sure who it is. And until I know, I'm in stealth mode right now, but Mm, that makes me nervous. I have a feeling. Alright, hold on. I can... Did you guys hear that? Oh my god, I can't tell where that's coming from. Let's just start over here. Wait, one? Oh. I do like that if, let's say there's a stack of three bullets there, and I only have room for one, it uh, leaves the remaining two. You don't just burn them. That's a nice little trick some other video game developers should learn. Box of ten bullets. You have room for five. Okay, well you'll leave five. Hold on. I can totally hear. So I took some damage there, but like, not like a ton. Hmm. I'm going to reload. Should I top off my health? Man, that's challenging. It's tough to say. If I would have used the health, would there have been a health packet in there? Who knows? Wait, what's this? Hmm. All 
Alright, I can hear him down here. We just gotta be careful. The omen. Alright, perfect. We got our mm -hmm. second one here. if we can like yeah, I probably shouldn't mess with the door too much ooh look at that sledgehammer I've got a sledge on me though I'm gonna keep the sledge I have currently I can always come back for this other one here we go I don't like running around injured I feel like it's asking for trouble but, at the same time... Hmm. Oh my god. What? How am I injured? those things that are those vomiting up those like leeches things all right there we go well I uh, I had to do it I used some health and man oh man did I burn through the ammo you know what though which one of these are we supposed to I think this is one we just came out of, which means there's a fresh sledgehammer at the bottom. Did I use my sledgehammer at all even? Right there. I don't know. We'll figure it out one way or another. I think they're both... I don't even remember if I used my sledgehammer now that you mention it. Now that I mention it, I like how I'm talking to somebody who's not even there. Now, if I remember correctly, there's a little spot in here. Let's sneak in here. Just straight up murder this dude. Because we're going to need the resources in here. And if this guy wasn't being a, a, a hogging little Hannah with this stuff, we could leave him alone. Boom, son. That dude just got the beat down of a lifetime. <laughs> what is the crucifix? Oh, it's a weapon? Interesting. What is... Is that everything? Huh. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. I wonder what the crucifix does. Yeah. So, here is what we're looking at right now for... We got 7 and 10, 2 and 5... And a crucifix. And I think this is where Mr. Chumbawamba came out of. Alright, now. 
this is the area that when you go into it, you got to be careful because you're going to hit a certain section where you're just going to get overwhelmed with bad guys and they're just going to come out of the woodwork and everyone's going to kill you. So literally your only option is just to run like hell. Like if you have to pull the trigger, I guess, pull the trigger, but for the most part, you just want to run. Um, here we go. Jeez. Anything in here? No? Yeah, this is an area that we're going to hit a spot. And I don't... Man, I don't know if I'm going to recognize it, but when I do, I'm just going to run like hell. And then you have to run to the areas that have, like, light. Like, if you see an area that's got, like, torches or any kind of light, just run to it. Dude, just like Barry frickin' Sanders. I was juking and jiving. Yeah. Ain't no way. Anything in here? I don't think so. Yeah, so the very first time I played through that, the game ended up... I was getting really pissed because the first time I played through it, there was probably four or five times I tried to play through and I kept getting caught just on nothing when I was running. And there then like, go. like one of the enemies would hit you and then you would just be dead because they would all swarm you. So I just found out like, I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to do it, but I'm like, I'm just running. And it also helps to juke. If you see one coming, just juke past him. Nice. I made it out. Um, wait a minute. So this is the area yeah, that we're supposed to go down. Have we already been down this area? I know we're supposed to go forward there. Oh my god, those damn birds, dude. I just really don't want to leave anything behind. I don't think we've been through here, have we? Just out of curiosity, I wonder if like... No, I wondered if you could like break that stuff. I don't think we've been through here. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, God. Yeah. Am I going nuts? I don't think I'm going crazy. Yeah. Am I? Um, 
sure the bird's at the top. I mean, I trying to remember. Okay. If these overlap, it would be like that, I'm sure. Oh, no. Here, this one's going to be at the top. This one's going to be over here. Come on. And the goat right here. Why is that? Oh, right here. Oh, here we go. Is that you? Jeremy. What are you doing here? Well, you sounded so miserable in your letter. I've come to take you away from here. I can't believe I made such a foolish mistake. All I wanted was for you to stay away. What do you mean? I bargained with the dark man. A pact to keep New Orleans safe with my own life as tribute. The dark man isn't real, Jeremy. There is nothing he can do to hurt you. How do you think any of this is happening? How do you still not trust my words? Fine. Then let me help. Don't be foolish. He will bury you next to me in his sunken temple for an eternity. I don't care. I'll find a way. I have my own talisman and I know about Tarawea. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't speak. Who's in here? Show yourself. You know who, Emily? They took your grandfather. No, I mean it. Who's in here? I can feel someone's in here. Emily! Why do you want to go there, Jeremy? All right, my everything. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tied glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman, maybe you with all your knowledge you somehow knew a way, a way to find me again, perhaps in Tarawaya. Oh, my love, Jeremy. Luggage key. Ah, uh, yeah, his luggage. So we got to go to his room, get into his luggage I next. I need to find out more about Jeremy's pack with a dark man. He meant to go to Tarawea. Maybe there is something there that would help. I bet there probably is. All right, everybody. You're Pal Al. Love you guys. And I will see you in the next video.